Hi everyone, welcome to the first in a series of videos for the JCI UK YouTube channel. Uh, the series is all about meeting the National Board of 2016. Every couple of weeks we'll release a new video. It makes sense for this first one to start with our National President for 2016, Sarah. Hello. Hello. Um, before we get into the conversation bit of the interview, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel below and make sure you follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook as well. Links are on the screen now for that side of things. So, Sarah, 2016, are you excited? I'm really excited. Yeah. There's a great good. energy in JCI UK at the moment, so I'm really, really excited. Yeah. I mean, we just, you just finished the first National Board weekend, and, you know, it's, it's been a full weekend, but it's been so much fun, there's so much energy in there. Yeah, loads of energy. We had brilliant discussions. I think that, that it's felt like a really productive weekend, and uh, the energy in the room's been great. Everyone's so engaged with what we're setting out to achieve this, this year for the organisation. Um, Packed, packed agenda and great discussions. Yeah. Okay, so obviously your theme for the year is Choose Extraordinary. What's the thinking behind that? Why have you come with that as a, as a concept? Um, it's really because I feel that JCI is an extraordinary organisation and it has made my life out of the ordinary. There's not many people who get up on the weekend, crack of dawn, travel across the country, meet these other amazing people, do training events, um, do charity events, travel the world, and that's kind of where the extraordinary side of things comes from. The choose side of things is that it is a choice, and um, it takes a choice to decide to dedicate your time and energy to an organisation like JCI, but if you do, then the rewards are amazing. So it's, that's kind of where the concepts come from, but it's also about people choosing to go that extra mile as well and, and choose the extraordinary path and to put that extra effort in and that extra ambition in. Um, so, yeah, choose extraordinary. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think it sums up the organisation very well of what you can get out of it. Um, I mean, we've been talking through this weekend, you know, we've had the experience about what we've all got out of it individually and everything else. So, you know, what was, what was the kind of light bulb moment for you within your membership that you thought, wow, what, 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 is there one particular event you can put that down to? Um, there's two things that spring to my yeah. mind. Um, the one where I really <coughs> understood just how different JCI is as an organisation is the COC Academy, which is Conference Organising Committee mm -hmm. Academy. And I'd gone there in 2010 because I was going to put on um, the National Convention and be the Convention Director when it was uh, in its first modern format, so a three-day event in London that year. So I went along to this International Academy so people there from Suriname, there's people there from Ghana, all across Europe, and I met with all of these people, and there's an academy that really, really pushed me, and it made me see that if you put this group of amazing people together and put them under pressure and push them, then absolutely um, nothing is impossible. Um, so that's really the light bulb in terms of just what the organisation can do. And I think the other moment for me where I realised just what it had done for me was... At my inauguration as JCI London President, which was held a dinner, an annual dinner at the House of Lords, and I kind of, I used to be terrified of public speaking. I got up in front of a room full of 100 people and made a speech, and I look back and go, wow, I never would have thought that shy, quiet girl who first joined the organisation, A, would ever be able to make a speech in front of 100 people, and, and B, become a local president. So, yeah, those, those are the two big ones for me. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned there about you know if, if a group of people pushed and you know kind of encouraged forcefully, shall we say, to, <laughs> to go outside and instill the comfort zone. Um, you know, if if there's members watching this now who are fairly new to the organisation, still finding their feet a bit, and they're kind of thinking, well, I've seen you know the, the, the public speaking academy, and there's leap, and there's all these other opportunities, but I'm a bit I'm a bit timid. What's your advice to them? Oh, just to go for it. Yeah. That JCI is such a safe and supportive environment that. Yeah, it's scary, but the fact it's scary is good because it means that you are doing something different and pushing yourself. But the academies will really, they're facilitated brilliantly. We've got amazing trainers within JCI and it, it, it's uncomfortable but in a comfortable way, I think. Yeah, it's a, as you say, it's a safe, nurturing environment. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like that safe area to test yourself out in. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, it's fantastic. I, I, I wish I found it 10 years sooner than I had done. Um, Coming back to your year, obviously 2016 is uh, the 101st year. We're coming off the back of the 100th year anniversary. What are the kind of the three 
things you want to see happen this year. Uh, at the end of um, December the 31st, we, you can kind of go, those two things happen, it's been a successful year. Um, I think membership growth and engagement has, has got to be one. We are a, we're a membership organisation mm -hmm. and members are the lifeblood of the organisation. All of those amazing events and things happen because of members. So the more members that we have, the more amazing opportunities that we can provide for our members. So I would really like to see JCI UK grow in terms of our membership numbers and um, our membership engagement so that all of our members are really know what the opportunities are and making the most of their membership. Um, another one for me is about having really strong local chambers and it's my role as national president to lead the national board team who will then be helping support those local chambers. So to have really happy teams and the national board team and the local, the local chamber teams that are really well supported and therefore can then take back that and those that support to run great chambers and great events therefore going back to the members. Mm -hmm. um, and the third thing I think is that we do make sure that we are continuing to provide those opportunities and showcase ourselves to the world whether that is doing it so JCI UK being represented on the international stage of JCI so again for me I have to represent JCI UK internationally mm -hmm. make sure that's done well make sure that our members are really enjoying those international events are having a great time we're always known as like a really vocal delegation that are here there everywhere always mingling always yeah. talking to everyone so I, I want to make sure that that continues um, and also through the partnerships that we've been building up and, and making ourselves known externally as well. So showcasing what JCI is to the world in internal and that's external ways. Excellent, brilliant. And then just briefly at the end, obviously JCI is not the day job, it's not the whole life. So just tell us a bit more about yourself, what you do for a living, etc. Et okay, I'm, I'm a chartered surveyor mm -hmm. and uh, I work in, in general practice. Um, so not building surveyor, there's, there's different types of surveyors, but my role is centred around valuation. So I actually negotiate how much rent should be paid on high street shops. Mm -hmm. So some of our clients are the body shop, the post office, and we negotiate on their behalf as to how much rent they should pay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a director in an organisation called um, BNP Paribas Real Estate, um, and I lead a team of um, four people. And yeah, I've been with that company my entire working life, so I started there as a graduate, trained on the graduate scheme and have made my way up um, to a director role, a team leader role, and, but I'm quite involved in running the department and then also what I really enjoy about my job is, is the opportunity to get involved with other aspects of the company, so I do a lot of the graduate recruitment and training and things like promotion panels, so there's lots of times to interact with other people in the company. Excellent. So in your work life, would you say the lessons and skills you learned in JCI have had a big impact? Yes, an absolutely huge impact. Um, when I first got promoted um, from surveyor level to associate director level, um, the, the leadership skills that I learned through JCI to be able to start leading a team were really invaluable. Um, I would say there's lots of different aspects of what I've learned in JCI that I've been able to bring into the company and mm -hmm. I know that my boss notices that I come with different ideas and let's try facilitating a meeting this way and, and let, what about let's introduce this team building activity here and how about a brainstorming session in, in this way um, and then another really big thing for me is the public speaking and debating that I've done in JCI has been fantastic for my work and, and one specific example is that I had to give evidence in court as an expert witness as to the amount of rent because that, that's what I was doing um, and we had to do something called hot tubbing, <laughs> which is uh, where two experts give evidence concurrently. So yeah. one person sets out their case, then the other person sets out theirs, and then they respond to each other. And oh, the debating okay. skills that yeah. I had to be able to respond off the cuff to somebody else who disagreed with my opinion and, and how to do that in a constructive and confident manner, mm -hmm. I just don't think I would have had the confidence to do that if it hadn't been for the debating skills that I've learned in JCI. Fantastic, yeah, I mean, that, that's it, the, the public speaking is such a new thing to take into that side of things. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, well, thank you very much for your time today, Sarah, much appreciated. Um,
Don't forget to, as I say, subscribe to the link on the YouTube channel below on the link. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you've got any questions for either Sarah.